first in action spread so the first thing I will do is uh, I'm gonna draw that's a ball up there okay that ball is now good enough let's fill it up yeah we'll fill it up with okay that's fine that looks more like a ball and uh, let's select it select it all go to modify convert to graphic and let's call it ball that's good ball there does look more like a ball so the next thing I'm gonna do now is to create and set keyframe I insert a keyframe okay drag my ball down okay and set another keyframe here okay select free transformation okay now the free transformation is selected inside another keyframe here okay drag this ball sorry drag drag it way up there Okay, let's set a new keyframe. Release this. Release that. Drag it right down again. Okay, set another keyframe here. Set keyframe. String the ball. What I'm trying to do is to actually simulate bouncing. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is inside another keyframe. I'll drag the ball up there and increase the ball. Let's put it on. Set another keyframe to frame 35. Okay. Drag the ball back down and shrink it. Okay. That's frame 35. So the next thing I'm going to do is to actually insert motion to one. So if I say let's loop and uh, kind of like play back, you see, what you see is like bouncing ball so let's stop it so that's a uh, bouncing ball created so we we now log that go to file import to the frame let's import a bird we import the bird I'll click on ok let's insert Hold that a bit and make sure you select movie. Click on that. Then the bed you've selected. Sorry, the bed. Click on the bed and make sure you put it right there in the middle. That is the bed right there in the middle. You can now go back to scene one. In your scene one, insert a new layer. Okay, we have your second layer there. Now get the movie, put it just right beside the bed. Okay. Now select layer one, go to edit, timeline, copy the code, and give it a name, bed. You need to also give this instant a name. Select the bed and go to property. Give the instant name, call it bed as well, and close the instant, and uh, come to layer 2, create another layer, select layer, select the first frame, go to window, action, place the code you've copied, all that's left now is just for you to test your movie. And that's the
the result of your movie. Well done. Thank you.